Hey, Bob Doyle, glad you're here. I want to talk to you about your brain. Because when it comes down to it, how we interpret everything in the world, whether things are good or bad, how we're feeling, it all is your brain. So I know that being a law of attraction teacher over the past 20 years, I've spent a lot of time talking about energy and a lot of invisible stuff, right? Using words like vibrational resonance and these types of things, which, you know, some people get immediately. Some people have a harder time because they're esoteric. Right. And so sometimes people have a hard time integrating law of attraction principles because they're hung up on all of the woo woo ness of it. But when it comes down to our lives and what happens in our lives, it's about the action we take. It's how we show up in the world. Who are we being? Because that's really what's going to dictate what we're attracting. So if you're having trouble with the law of attraction or any of these manifesting abilities or techniques that you're learning, I just want you to understand that the reason that you're having trouble with it is because you're asking your brain to change. You have your whole life been being programmed by your environment and the people who took care of you and taught you and nurtured you and all of those things. And when we're young, we don't have the discernment to evaluate what's coming in and going, hey, does this serve my greater vision? Right? So we just take it all in and our brains get literally wired with these neural pathways. And over the course of time, you know, we learn how to interpret the world. We learn what's good. We learn what's bad. We learn what's hard and easy, whether or not we deserve something or not, which is actually irrelevant, but we do learn it. And so as adults, we learn about this law of attraction thing and we, hey, we're going to visualize and we're going to get into the feeling and all of those things are true. But what we're up against also is this wiring. And so as soon as we start to expand our vision for ourselves, we're going to come up against our wiring which is already very clearly saying, this isn't who you are. So we're going to immediately get backlash from our ego and all this noise in our head. Who are you to do that? Or you don't deserve this or whatever your wiring is that keeps you where you are. So if you're going to change your circumstances, you have to change who you're being. So you'll take different action. You'll make different meaning out of things. And in situations that you used to make negative, now you have to learn how to make them positive. So you can actually avoid having them all together. The point is your wiring needs to change and it's taken years and years and years of consistent, mostly unconscious signals to create the neural pathways in your brain that exist right now that are dictating your experience of reality. So you can't just watch a movie or read a book or do a program and think that your wiring that's kept you where you are all this time, it defines who you are, is suddenly going to instantly change and allow you to think and interpret things in the way that you'll need to in order to attract the success that you really want. The very first thing you have to do is decide who do you want to be, not what do you want to have and certainly not what problems are you trying to solve. Who do you want to be that you're not being now? If you're running up against situations where you're feeling beat down or limited or you're in fear, how would the ideal version of you respond in these situations? You get to define that, but more than that, you get to be that. But it's going to take a little bit of time to rewire your brain to accept that that's who you are now. So when people start all this work in personal development, most personal development work fails miserably because we get up against our own wiring and we have our, now our intellect tells us all the reasons why we can't have or do or be these things we're saying. We've got all the evidence we need. We've literally attracted it from being this way at the mercy of our programming, of our wiring. So you need support if you're going to change. There's no way around it. Your family and your friends who you've attracted into your experience right now, they probably aren't the support system you need for this. Because you're in alignment with them for a reason. Now you're wanting to expand. You're wanting to grow. You're wanting to be something more than you have been. Maybe you've kept yourself down because of the expectations of these other people. And now you're ready to break free from that. So these are not the people who are going to necessarily support you. What you need is someone who is going to take a stand for your vision of who you want to be and what you want to accomplish in the world. Somebody who can see it in you when you can't. When you run up against your wiring that says, this isn't who you are, you need someone to say, oh, it is who you are, if that's who you want to be. You must just keep on focusing on who you want to be and not who you've been. On what you want to have and not what you haven't had. How you want to feel and not how you have felt. A coach serves that purpose. A coach, a trained coach, a coach who you feel good about. Not just any coach that lands in your inbox, 
a coach that you've had a conversation with, that you've been able to vibe with, to see, yeah, this is a match. Maybe you've done coaching before, maybe you haven't. I want to give you the opportunity to experience a coaching consulting call so you can find out for yourself if coaching is for you. There's no obligation because it's not for everyone. Not everybody is coachable. I wish they were. But if you can just see the reality that you've got wiring that you're up against. I don't want to throw things at you like, if you're really ready, blah, 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 and coaching is done. No. I want you to see the practical reason why you need support. Not because I say so, but because your brain is wired. If you can understand that you've been programmed, if you can see patterns in your life and you can see the truth in what I'm saying, then hopefully you'll see that, yeah, I'm going to need support to move through this because I will always come up against my wiring. It is the lens through which you see the world and you need to refocus that lens or expand that lens or completely change that lens if you're going to have a different experience of reality. So if you've never had coaching before, or maybe you had it and wasn't, it wasn't a fit because maybe you just chose whoever showed up. And you'd like to try it on again with no obligation, no cost, just 45 minutes of your time to talk with somebody to see if coaching is a fit for where you are right now. If the kind of transformation you're looking for could be facilitated more easily by having the kind of support I'm talking about. Click the button below. You can schedule a free 45-minute coaching consultation so that you can feel it for yourself. Coaching literally changed my life and continues to because I will always come up against my own wiring too. Always. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter how successful you are. Your wiring is your wiring. And at some point in your vision, in your vision for growth, you're going to come up against the limits. So how do you get past it? Coaching is there for that. That's why the most successful people in the world will always point to the coach. And it's not about the coach being better or more successful or smarter. It's about having the skill set necessary to see you when you can't. This is an amazing opportunity for potentially tremendous transformation in your life. I invite you to take it.